Hey everybody, Brian and Drew here of GouletPens.com and today we're excited to talk about the hottest pens of 2019. There were a lot of good pens that came out this year and this was a tough list to narrow down. Yeah, it's not gonna be an exhaustive list by any means, but we did identify some of the most impactful items. Either they were best sellers, a lot of limited edition, special edition heavy oh, things because yeah. those always make a big impact. So we presented them for you in uh, what I think is gonna be a pretty fun little list. Yeah, we didn't rank these in top order because they launch at different right. times of the year. So we just did it in chronological order. So without further ado, let's take a look at the hottest pens of 2019. Diplomat Magnum in Prismatic Purple. So this one launched back in January, along with five other new colors in the Magnum line. The Magnum's actually been around for quite some time, decades even, but last year had a nice resurgence to the market. This particular pen, the Prismatic Purple, was our exclusive, and it looks amazing, and it very quickly jumped right into that ideal starter pen slot. It's, got, it's a great price point to begin with, and it's got yeah. that fun little steel but springy nib. It's like unique to, I mean, it's a Yovo nib, yeah. but it doesn't feel like any other Yovo we've used. No, and it's then, fun to write with. And then they came out later in the year with an extra fine nib too, nice. only making it better. So very solid pen to start off the list. Absolutely. The Conklin Duraflex Sunstone Limited Edition. All right, this pen launched in April. Birds were chirping, flowers were blooming. Were they? Around here anyway. Okay. But it was, was uh, you know, a lot of good Duraflex, Duragraph pens have come out in the last several years, Very especially true. this year. The reason that this one made the list, though, is because we really feel like there was a turning point, specifically with the Omniflex nib. They were making iterative improvements, but really they hit their stride with this one. And you notice, especially yeah. in the customer service area, this is where everybody really felt like, okay, it's finally arrived. Right, right. People were riding with it, getting it in their hands, and were like, this actually is performing consistently. Also, I think expectations were adjusted a little bit, Absolutely. but it definitely marked a notable improvement. Yeah, so this one makes the list. Lamy Safari Pastel Special Edition. These launched in April, and this year, Brian, birds were chirping in April, yes, this year Lamy just went nuts with the special edition. They, they really launched did. more special editions, limited editions than any other year. We and probably could have put all of those on this list. For honestly. real. We're kind of consolidating these ones. Right. But this was the first time they ever took three different safaris and launched them all together. So the three pastels were very much on trend in this year and they made a splash. It was significant. And as far as all the Lamy special editions this year, I think those kind of rose to the top, wouldn't you say? Definitely. The Twisby 580 All Emerald Special Edition. Now the 580, 580 All, it's really Twisby's flagship pen. They've had it for years. It's really the one that people think of with yeah. the brand. And they've done a number of really good colors before, but Emerald, woo, when it came out in February, it was just kind of like, yeah, this is this gorgeous. Is yeah, it, gorgeous. It actually ended up being uh, the best selling special edition that we had across any brand in 2019. Jeez. So clearly we were not alone in the sentiment towards this. They also came out with a purple in June. That was Which also was very stunning. Good. Yeah, absolutely. Also very good. So Twisby on their game this yeah. year. Definitely worth being on the list. Retro 51 Apollo Space Race Limited Edition. It's worth mentioning that last year, Retro 51 came out with their Space Race Rollerball sets and their individual pens, but this year, to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Apollo moon landing, they came out with a fountain pen version of the Apollo Rocket Pen. So the fountain pen was even more or just as successful as the rollerballs that they had the previous year, and if honestly you were a fountain pen fan and also happen to be a moon landing or Apollo fan, rocket fan, this was your year to buy a fountain pen. So there were a lot of other companies that decided to get in on this, Montegrappa being one of them. They had that awesome moon landing pen of theirs, and uh, that was a super interesting pen. The whole year was exciting because there was a lot going on, a lot going on that you just couldn't ignore as it pertained to the moon landing. This pen launched in July. The Monte Grappa Amiralio Limited Edition. Now this pen kind of launched at several points. They came out with different colors. It was all kind of through the middle of the year. Yeah, it kind of trickled in. Yeah, but each one was a treat for us. There were these beautiful, like, true celluloids that Monte Grappa has that really nobody else does. No. Pens like that are becoming more and more rare because they're not really making those materials anymore. Speaking of rare, though, the collaboration. Absolutely. Why this is so notable, they actually collaborated with Sailor on their nibs. So it was like these two iconic pen companies coming together. We don't know if we'll ever see a collaboration like no, this again. No, you won't. The pens were great writers. They looked beautiful. The presentation, the packaging was awesome. Yeah. Really great pen. Diplomat Arrow Turquoise. 
This pen launched in August, and we've been working with Diplomat since last year when they really started picking up steam for us in developing a Diplomat Aero, which is their flagship pen, oh, yeah. in a color that we collaborated with them on. And Brian, you actually uh, had a direct impact I on it. I got this. kind of a thing on. Swear I did not think about this pen when I put on this shirt this morning, mm. uh, but I do carry around this mug with me every day. Nice teal color. We were like, you know what? This would look really hot in this pen with this anodized aluminum. So do you carry the Custom 74 in teal now? Is teal your new thing? Are you abandoning I do blue? I teal one. No, <gasps> I still love blue, but you know, I thought this looked good too. Mm. But we are super excited to have this pen. It was a really fun collaboration. We collaborated with uh, Matias over at Diplomat. That's it right. was a really fun experience and we're excited to do more. So that's why this one made the list. Pilot Vanishing Point Tropical Turquoise Limited Edition. Now, every year, Pilot comes out with a vanishing point that is limited to the year that it is. So there were 2019 of these. And each year they do it, they rotate which region gets to select what the color is. Yep. So this year was the U.S. Other years, it might be Europe, it might be Japan. Um, but you can pretty much tell when the U.S. ones are because the colors are a little bolder. You yeah. have Crimson Sunrise. Always. You have Twilight. These are some of the past ones that have been done. Yeah. So this Tropical Turquoise was the one for this year from the U.S., and it looks really good. It came and went in it just a couple of days long, in no. September. And uh, yeah, obviously we love it. Twisby Eco Transparent Purple Special Edition. Also in September, this pen came out. And there were other Twisby Transparent Ecos that oh, came yeah. out in 2019 as well. For but sure. this one was at the top, for I mean, sure. Orange was really good. There's a good blue. Yeah. Clear one's always a good seller, but the purple one we thought was like, yeah, yeah they really nailed it. It really color exploded too. And good. the Eco in general has established itself as such a go to pen for first time users and experienced fountain pen users alike. It's Absolutely. really a bargain, a steal, and it writes consistently. It looks so good. And these special editions just always do so well, get people so excited. Noodler's Triple Tail. So this was kind of the dark horse of this list. Might not have thought this would be on here, but it was a very well-received pen yeah. that launched kind of late in the year, mid-October. And uh, yeah, it's been a while since Noodlers had come out with anything new. They've got kind of a mixed history with people that have had experiences with them. Maybe they didn't like the smell, but this pen was a different resin than what they've had in many of their other pens. We sniffed it. There is no traditional Noodler smell, which some people actually said they missed, surprisingly enough. Go figure. Either way, very solid performing pen, very broad, very wet, flexible nib. And uh, yeah, that really does put a nice cap on this list for 2019. So that's it. There you go. We have exhausted our top 10, but we'd love to hear what yours would be or if there's maybe one you would have subbed in. Though I'm sure that you agree with absolutely everything we've said, we still want to hear from you. So let us know what you think. You can check out some of these on GoodlyPens.com. A lot of these are gone, but we may still have some. But either way, we're looking forward very much to what's oh, yeah. ahead in 2020. Thank you so much for participating with us and everything that happened in 2019. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our videos. Thank you so much for watching and right on. Thank you.